In this video, we want to derive an expression for the inverse hyperbolic cosine of u. Now, to handle this correctly, we have to remember that the inverse um, hyperbolic functions can be expressed in terms of logarithmic functions. If you um, go to the um, website at digital-university.org, and click on the calculus section and then scroll down to where it says inverse hyperbolic functions. You see there's a series of videos there and in one of them we had proven that if we have the inverse hyperbolic cosine of u, and say we just call that y, then what we determined was, what we proven was y is equal to this logarithmic um, expression. Actually it's plus or minus this logarithm. And we had proven that not only that the hyperbolic, uh, inverse hyperbolic cosine can be expressed as a hyperbolic or as a logarithmic function, but all of the inverse hyperbolic functions can be expressed as some form of logarithmic expression. And again, we had a whole series of videos on inverse hyperbolic functions where we did that. So here in this video, the inverse hyperbolic function of u, that is equivalent to this logarithmic function, the natural log of u plus the square root of u squared minus 1. So if we want to take the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic function of u, say with respect to dx, then that's the same thing as taking the derivative with respect to x of this logarithmic function. So let's go ahead then and take this derivative. This will equal, now remember for logarithmic functions when we take their derivatives, the procedure is it is equal to 1 over what is inside of here. So we have 1 over u plus the square root of u squared minus 1 times the derivative of this function with respect to x. Now here we have u squared minus 1, the square root of that, so this is u squared minus 1 to the 1 half power. So when we take this derivative it's going to be 1 half times u squared minus 1, and the new exponent is 1 half minus 1, so this is minus 1 half, times the derivative of what's inside of the brackets. That will be 2u, 2 times u, du dx. We're taking the derivative with respect to x. So that's the derivative of this part. Then we have plus this derivative plus du dx. So what we know is that the inverse hyperbolic cosine of u is equivalent to this logarithmic function. So if we want to take its derivative, then that's the same as taking the derivative of this, which gives us this expression right here. So really at this point, um, the calculus part of the problem is over. 
the inverse, the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic function of u is this expression right here. And obviously, we could probably make this a little bit neater um, just by doing some algebra. So we'll do that. But really, the, the rest of the problem is just algebraic manipulations. Right now, the, the calculus part of the problem is over. But let's look at what this is. Here we have 2 times 1 half u, this is a negative exponent, so this will equal, this stays the same of course, we have 1 over u plus the square root of u squared minus 1 times u, this is a negative exponent, so that is in the denominator, u squared minus 1. In the denominator, it is plus 1 half. Then we can factor this out, so this plus 1 times du dx. And we can add these together. So this will equal this is u squared minus 1 and this we just bring down to here. Now for here we have u plus 1 times this divided by this times this times du dx. And this and this cancel. So what we have left is 1 over the square root of u squared minus 1 du dx. So when we took the derivative of this logarithm, we got 1 over the square root of u squared minus 1 du dx, and that's equal to the derivative of this inverse hyperbolic function. So what we have then is the, in, the derivative d dx of the inverse hyperbolic function of u equals 1 over the square root of u squared minus 1 times du dx. And that's the end of the problem. So really the whole thing hinges on though realizing that these inverse hyperbolic functions can be expressed as logarithmic functions. So I want to find their derivatives. It's the same thing as taking the derivative of a logarithmic function. And then remember the rules for that. The derivative of this with respect to x equals 1 over whatever is inside of these brackets. That's this times the derivative of what's inside of these brackets. And that's this. Once we got to that stage, then the calculus part of the problem was over. After that, it was just a matter of doing algebra, working through this to get it down to this expression, just simply 1 over the square root of u squared minus 1 times du dx. And that in turn, that then is the expression for the inverse hyperbolic cosine of u, which finally we have designated right here. 
So that's it. That's um, that's it for this video. Um, come back and join us for some more videos. We'll try and solve some more problems. And again, a reminder that the playlist for all the videos is at the website at digital-university.org.